Use your money on to be the next UKIP leader. Paddy Power, you beauty! If you were elected as UKIP leader at the end of the month, what would be your sort of, what would you be aiming for over the next few years to achieve? Where would you want to take the mm. party? Where would you want to see it yourself and mm. the party and UKIP in a, in a couple of years? You know, in the last election, I think there were millions of people who had at one time or another considered voting for UKIP, but didn't because they didn't believe we could win on the first past the post system. You know, and a lot of people voted for someone they really didn't want to vote for in the last election to keep someone else out. You know, lots of people voted Conservative to keep out Jeremy Corbyn and vice versa. But if we just get our act together, you know, if we place ourselves as the party of a full democratic Brexit, a party which is socially and financially conservative, I think that will attract those millions of people who want that kind of party, who will build up the nation again, and not just to tackle you know, the external threat uh, of the EU, but tackle the internal threat of cultural Marxism. And the pe there's quite a big correlation between the sort of people who want to dissolve the nation if you like, into a globalist proto-state, the EU, and also the same people who want to dissolve communities, who want to dissolve family, marriage, gender, who want to get into our education and make it dumbed down uh, and make it all very, very left-wing so that people don't know how to stand on their own two feet. We need to fight that. And we need from our education system, right at the bottom with our young people, to build it up again. So we have a system that trains people with skills, that makes us proud of our country once again. And that's what I want UKIP to be. Who's your money on to be the next UKIP leader? Paddy Power, you beauty!